full-heartedly accept what God has for us and to do the things he has for us to do. Look at Romans 8, verse number 1. We'll start reading there. The Bible says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God, sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Look at verse number five. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So many people don't want to be, you know, held back by God's laws. Why do I got to obey God's law? Oh, man, you just don't want me to have any fun, do you? God's got all these rules on me. Well, to be, to be carnally minded is death. It's not good. See, God doesn't make up rules just so that you can have a miserable life. And kids, your parents don't make up rules for you so you can have a miserable life. They actually love you and care about you. And whether you believe it or not, they have more knowledge and wisdom than you do. I know it's a hard thing for kids to grasp. They think they're so smart and they know more than their parents and everything else. But mom and dad love you. And the rules that they impose on you is supposed to be for your own benefit. It's because they've already lived many years and they've already gained wisdom and, so, and many times the hard way. And they don't want to see you going through the same thing. And you know what? God's the same way. He knows the end result of the things that we might want to get into now because it feels good for a moment. It feels good for a moment to go get drunk or go get high. But you know what? The end of that is going to ruin your life. You make all kinds of bad decisions. People get hurt. People get killed. Lives get destroyed. So God just says, don't do it. Amen. Sleeping around, committing fornication. Oh yeah, it feels real good for the moment. But you miss out on so many other things. You get diseases. You get, you know, there, there's so many ways that it's going to cause problems in your life. That's why the Bible says to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Boy, doesn't that sound good to live a life where you're at peace just internally? where you can go through day by day and not be troubled in your spirit? Well, if we're walking in the spirit, we can have that peace. Even if bad things may be going on around us, you can know that peace. And it's a great feeling to have when you know you're doing right by God. Everything could be crumbling around you and you could still have peace. It doesn't mean you're not concerned about the things going on. It doesn't mean anything else, but you can, you can have a level of peace about you because being spiritually minded is life and peace. Verse number seven, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. If you are in here today and your mind is, all you think about is things of this world and things that are, that are just physically appealing to you, the Bible says you're at enmity with God. That's the exact opposite of what God wants you to be. He wants you to be spiritually minded, not carnally minded, not thinking just about, hey, this feels good, so I'm going to do it, regardless of what God's word says. 